Bacterial artificial chromosomes are bags. Bacterial artificial chromosomes, they are also a type of plasmids that are uh, used to clone very large DNA uh, fragments. And here the size of the foreign DNA fragments may be 100,000 to 300,000. Ya simply hum ye keh sakte hain ke foreign DNA ka jo maximum size jo ke hum a bags may clone kar sakte hain wo 100 se leke 300 kilo base tak ho sakta hai. And these Bags are bacterial artificial chromosomes. They have been constructed from some natural plasmids. If you remember the F plasmids, uh, that, uh, that is important during the process of conjugation. And even it's a derivative which is called as F prime. That can carry the segment of bacterial chromosome. And in this situation, it is called as F prime. Uh, this trait of the F plasmid uh, has been used to construct bacterial artificial uh, chromosomes. If we have a look on the genetic map, map of bacterial artificial chromosome, then we will find that it contains a par region from the F plasmids. And this par region, uh, it may be from partition and uh, uh, it regulate the equal distribution of the plasmid to the daughter cells and this power region it is from F plasmid. In addition to that it also contain region of replication that can regulate the copy number of the plasmid so that it can also divide independently of the host chromosome. Iske ilawa isme kuch selectable markers hote hain like uh, uh, chloromphenicol antibiotic hai uh, ye bhi selectable marker ke taur pe istemal hoti hai aur iske ilawa jo lax z gene hai jo ke beta galactosidase enzyme synthesize karti hai ye bhi selectable marker ke taur pe uh, use hoti hai uh, when foreign dna it is inserted within the lax z gene then the synthesis of the beta galactosidase it is inhibited and this beta galactosidase that is synthesized by lax z gene it can uh, uh, degrade a compound which is called as fibromo 4 chloro 3 indolyl beta d galactopyranocyte and simply this complex compound it is called as x gol when foreign dna is not inserted within the lax z gene of the bacterial artificial chromosome then the synthesis of beta galactosidase it is there that can convert the x gol into a blue colored end product a blue colored colonies are there on the agar medium it means that the lax, lax z gene it has not been inactivated that indicates uh, uh, the absence of foreign dna on the other hand if foreign dna it is inserted within the lax z gene portion then beta galactosidase will not be produced and recombinant colonies will have uh, uh, you can say that it will be without any blue color so colonies will be colorless that indicates the presence of foreign dna and on the other hand if chloromphenicol it is also added so it will also act as a selectable marker. So those bacteria will be selected that is having uh, this bacterial artificial chromosome. When foreign DNA is inserted within bacterial artificial chromosome, then the mixture of bags and the host organism, it is uh, subjected to a process which is called as electroporation. The cells go or the bags ka mixture hai, isko expose kiya jata hai electric current aur uske baad jo cell wall hai isme pore generate hote hain jisse jo bacterial artificial chromosome hai which is no recombinant it it will be uh, you can say that inserted into the host organism
Next diagram will indicate the cloning procedure with bags. As I told you that bacterial artificial chromosome contain a far region from F plasmid. It also have origin of replication, resistance genes to chloramphenicol and cloning site that is included within the lac Z gene which synthesize the enzyme beta galactosidase. This Bax it is digested with appropriate restriction enzyme so that quisavants may be produced and then the foreign DNA it is also digested with appropriate restriction enzyme to produce cohesivant. Then they are ligated together so that recombinant bacterial artificial chromosomes they are produced that indicate the insertion of this larger DNA fragments that may be up to 300 kilobase in size. In the next step, when foreign DNA it is ligated within the bacterial artificial chromosome then as a result of electroporation the foreign DNA along with bags it is inserted into the host organism and then they are selected on the basis of selectable marker. If the colonies they are colorless then they will indicate the lack of beta galactosidase and it will also indicate the presence of foreign DNA whereas the blue colonies they will indicate the absence of foreign DNA. So agar containing chloramphenicol and substrate for beta galactosidase they can act as a selectable marker. So this is one of the strategy that can be used to clone larger DNA fragments by using bacterial artificial chromosomes.